He who has sent down water from the sky. With it have we produced divers, pairs of plants, each separate from the others. Fruit of every kind he made in pairs, two and two. These verses of the Quran state that plants are created in pairs and indicates a great truth which was discovered only in the 20th century. It is as follows. The root of the words is watch and zojini. Used in the verses is the word zoj. While the word of as watch is the plural form of zoj, the word of zojini is the dual form of zoj and zoj means spouse. We understand from these explanations that the Quran states through its verses that the plants are created in pairs and there is masculinity and femininity in plants too. What do scientists say about this subject? Is there masculinity and femininity in plants really? Now let us see the words of scientists. As a result of the studies made on plants, it is understood that there is masculinity and femininity in plants as well. And with the help of these different organs, reproduction occurs in plants. There are male and female reproduction cells in flowering and seedy plants. These cells are produced by the male and female organs, both of which are in the middle of the flower. In the tumid part of the female organ, called ovary, there are small and round seed ovules, and within them there are female reproduction cells too. The male reproduction cells are hidden inside the pollens produced by the anther of the male organ, while pollens, which are very light, are carried from one flower to another through winds or various animals. Some of them cling on the vertex of the female organ. Afterwards, this pollen grain moves downwards from the stylus and reaches the ovules of the ovaries through a tube. The male reproduction cell passes from this tube and unites with the female reproduction cell in the ovule. When male and female reproduction cells unite, ovules are formed and then seeds are formed from them. Now, let us think of the following point. Biology was not a developed branch of science during the era of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The reproduction of plants and the role of the female and male elements in this field were not known. With the development of the science of biology and botany, the existence of male and female cells in seeding and flowering plants was understood. Botanists were able to discover the difference of gender in plants only 100 years ago. Then how did a person who did not know how to read or write managed to know that there was masculinity and femininity in plants at a time when people were not aware of botany or biology. This question can have only one answer. It is as follows. That person did not know in its own. He knew it because Allah, who creates pears from plants, informed him of it. If this answer is not accepted, we will never be able to explain that person's informing of scientific facts and his news turning out to be true. No one's mind can accept that a person who did not know how to read or write was able to discover a fact 1400 years ago on his own and write it in a book, though the fact was discovered only 100 years ago by people who spent all of their lives studying biology and botany. A person who accepts this cannot be considered sane. There is only one answer that human minds can accept. The Quran is the book of Allah.